Hello. Today what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you how to set up and use bath transfer benches. I'll introduce myself. My name is Dawn. I'm a nurse. I'm also a safe patient handling specialist and I've been teaching healthcare professionals for over 20 years how to do safe patient handling in hospitals, nursing homes and private care across North America. So today what we're going to do is we're going to compare an older model and a newer model and go over the pros and cons of each one. Okay, so first you want to make sure that the legs are set at a proper height for you and that the bench is level. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and show you how easy it is to do a transfer on this type of shower bench. So we're just going to go and back ourselves up till our legs hit the bench and have a seat. Then I'm going to take my one leg up and I can stop here or I can go all the way in. And I'm going to bring my other leg up to the side of the tub or bring it all the way in. And once I'm at this point, I can grab the handle and slide myself in. Then I would just go ahead and grab my shower wand, go ahead and do my bathing as normal. So as you can see, the transfer is pretty simple on a bench like this. The only things that I don't really like about this version and this model of the um, transfer bench is that it's pretty hard and it really is kind of cold when you first get onto it. And the other thing is with the sliding, as people age, their skin gets a little more uh, fragile and it could cause some skin tearing. And the other thing is that twisting um, might be hard on the hips and the knees. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to use a newer style bath transfer bench. I've already gone ahead and made sure it's at the same, uh, the proper height for myself. And the seat is facing out on this one. You can adjust it with this lever, but I'm going ahead. I'm going to have it start um, facing this way. I'll do the same. I'm going to back up, get on the seat, and get comfortable. Grab the lap safety belt. Adjust it appropriately for you. Then I'm going to go ahead and press this red lever and give myself a little spin, and it's going to lock in place. I have a little gray lever here that I push in, which allows me to slide over, it locks in place. Go ahead, grab your shower wand, and start doing the bath. Okay, so the things that I really like about these newer style bath transfer benches is for one, it's padded, it's softer, and it's not going to absorb water. So this cushion also is warmer when I get on. The same with the padded armrest. I also really like for safety, the lap belt gives me a sense of security. I have two armrests. And we talked about um, skin tears and possible stress on joints, which we don't get with this chair because the chair swivels on its own and it slides. So which one do I like better between the two bath uh, transfer benches? I'd have to say I really like this one. There is one drawback. The drawback would be price. Um, it is a little more expensive, but for me, I think it's well worth the, the price difference. So for more information on the back transfer benches that we, we talked about today, just click on the link below the video here. Hello. Today what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you how to set up and use bath transfer benches. I'll introduce myself. My name is Dawn. I'm a nurse. I'm also a safe patient handling specialist. And I've been teaching healthcare professionals for over 20 years how to do safe patient handling in hospitals, nursing homes, and private care 